Okay, so question three says classify uh, classify each statement about effective nuclear charge, ZEF, as true or false. Okay. Uh, so I care about uh, effective nuclear charge. And it says here, I have all of these guys here. So um, let me read the statements here. So it says, in a beryllium atom, a 1s electron has a greater ZF than a 2s electron. So across the period, as ZF increases, atomic size decreases. Electrons in a p orbital are more effective than those in other orbitals at shielding, at shielding other electrons from uh, from the nuclear charge. Uh, a one s electron in beryllium atom has a smaller zf than a one s electron in lithium. And finally, or sorry, the second last one here is effective nuclear charge decreases from left to right across the periodic table, across the period on the on the periodic table. Sorry, and effective nuclear charge is dependent on the number of electrons present in the atom. So what so so the, all we have a lot of statements here and what we what we're doing here is we we care about this concept of uh, effective nuclear charge, right? So let me write this down here. This is effective nuclear charge. And what we're doing here is with our effective nuclear charge here, uh, what is effective nuclear charge here? So you can think of this as um, the net positive charge um, experienced by an electron in a multi-electron atom, right? So if you had something that's not hydrogen, or something that, for example, beryllium, um, if you have a beryllium atom, you have your BE is here, you have a first shell is filled with one, two, and your second shell is one, and then also two, right? Again, these are very, very bad diagrams. Um, I mean, actually, let me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me redraw this as a nicer diagram here. Okay, so you can think of this as my, as my beryllium atom. Uh, in my first shell, I have two electrons, and then in my second shell, I also have two electrons, right? So what is what is effective nuclear charge? Again, it's this net positive experienced by electrons in a multi uh, multi electron atom, right? So you, you can think of this as effect. You can think of this as also um, uh, the same as our shielding effect, right? So again, we have here um, these these guys here are po net positive. So again, in the nucleus here, it's net positive, and this ele these electrons here are negative, right? Um, sorry, this here is negative, this here is negative and negative. And the effective nuclear charge or the shielding effect here is if I'm looking at these two electrons specifically, so one in the 1s and one in the uh, the other, the uh, 2s kind of orbital here, these guys are going to repel, right? Both of these negative electrons don't like each other. Um, they're only attracted to this nucleus here. So you can actually calculate uh, ZF actually um, through this concept, right? So you can say that ZF here is going to equal Z, which is the number of protons in the nucleus, so um, minus S, which is the number of electrons between the nucleus and the electron in question, so the number of non-valence electrons. In this case here, I have two non-valence electrons, right? So S here equals two, so I have Z minus two, and then Z here is our, again, number of protons in our, in our beryllium. In beryllium, we know here as, I believe, four, uh, four, uh, four protons, right? So again, it's, I believe it's my fourth uh, element here. So this here is four. So you can think of Z, uh, ZF here is four minus two, which it would equal two. And as you can see, what we're doing here is as we are um, increasing the number of electrons, uh, increasing, sorry, increasing the number of, um, of protons in our in, in our uh, in our element here, as we go from kind of left to right on a effective nuclear charge, it's going to um, it's going to increase, right? Because the number of electrons here, um, Z value here is going to increase. So therefore it's going to increase from left to right. So this, I can say here that this guy is going to be false here. Let me just, uh, let me let me, let me me look at the solution for you. Uh, so you can double check the solution here. So it says here, uh, decreases from, from left to right here would be, let's see. Uh, Yes, so it's going to be false, right? So again, an effective nuclear charge decreases from left to right. It's actually going to increase across a period, right? Because remember, if I'm increasing my number of protons here, the Z, my ZF will also increase here. So this solution here, this so this one here is correct. Um, let me read from up to down here. It says, in a beryllium atom, the 1S electron has a, has a greater ZF than a 2S electron here. So 1S would be, I would be focused on this guy here. This guy would be the 1S electron. And this here is a 2s electron. So this here is a 2s. This guy would be the 1s here. 
and which one would have a greater ZF? Well, uh, in this case here, Z1S would have a greater effective nuclear charge because it has less numbers, number of um, uh, non-valence electrons. Right? In this case, it would be uh, simply just itself here. And 2S1, I would have two valence, uh, two non-valence electrons here. So again, the 1S, uh, Z, uh, the effective nuclear charge for uh, the 1S electron is indeed greater than the 2S here. So I believe um, that the, this one here would be uh, would be false, I believe. Oh no, this here is one S beryllium and one less lithium. Sorry, so that's not that's not it. Um, that's a different question here. So this one is correct. Electrons in a p orbital are more are more effective than those in other orbitals at shielding other electrons from the nuclear charge. So it's asking, so it's it's talking about specifically electrons in the p orbital here. Are they more effective than those in other orbitals at shielding other electrons from nuclear charge? In this case, it's actually false, right? And this solution here is correct because I also have d and f orbitals as well that we did not consider um, because we don't have enough uh, electrons in this case. Um, these guys are also also participate in shielding effect as well, right? So you have obviously the s orbitals are going to um, like these guys here are going to shield away. Um, they're going to shield kind of from this 2s uh, electron from this nucleus here. But also, if I were if I were to add again p orbitals and d orbitals as well, they all can they can also participate. P orbitals can also participate at shielding as well. Um, then and with s orbitals as well with uh, s electrons. Sorry. So this here is also false. So this solution here, uh, this question here, statement here is true or is correct. Sorry. We talked about the statement already. So I'll move down to these guys here. So is it across and a period uh, effective nuclear charge increases, atomic size decreases. That's true, right? So we talked about uh, atomic radius. It decreases as a, a, a down a, down a, down a group and it increases across a period, right? So this here is true, and we said already effective nuclear charge it increases here, right? Um, and then this guy here, and this guy here, I'm, I'm going to draw this out for you because I'm going to draw out the lithium as well. It says here what on that what s electron in uh, in a beryllium atom has a smaller zf than a 1s in a lithium. So I'm going to write lithium here just to visualize this for you. So this Li, I have one electron, two, and then I have one in the valen uh, one valence electron here. So again, here it's asking us 1s is smaller Zf than a 1s in a lithium. So this guy here, I care about, uh, I'm going to do this in red, I care about this electron here and also this electron here. This is also the 1s in lithium here. And this one, because my atomic number of beryllium is higher than my lithium here, it's going to, the ZF is higher, right? Like we said before. So I can calculate the ZF for this electron here. It's going to equal the number of electron or number of protons, which is three, right? The three is lithium. And then um, minus two, right? Because I have two non-valence electrons, one and two here. And this here will give me one. And because two here is greater than one, then beryllium here will be my higher Will be has a greater ZF here than uh, lithium here, so it's actually this 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 word should be bigger for this statement to be true. So false here is correct. And finally, effective nuclear charge is dependent on the number of electrons present atom. That's true, right? And that's this S value here. This S value is the number of non-valence electrons in my atom here. So this solution here is correct. Good analysis as well.